I had, I had a patient at Bethesda whose name was Joe. Joe was an, a retired Marine. He, he sort of had a good life. He had multiple medical problems. I had never had the opportunity to talk with Joe. He was a patient of mine, but I had never had a conversation. He had no family. No one visited him. But when they brought his things from the nursing home, they brought with it his durable power of attorney for health care, in which it identified Fred. Fred Thompson. Fred was a, a guy who I immediately latched on to the fact that this there was a durable power of attorney. You know, so many times in a hospital saying we don't see them. They did, people don't have them. And we just talked about the fact that you know over 75%, around 75% of people don't have these documents. So I was thrilled that Joe had one. So I picked the phone up and I got a hold of Fred. The phone number actually worked. And I said, Fred, and I explained to him who I was, where I was, and then I had Joe with me. And I said, do you remember Joe? <laughs> and he goes, Joe, Joe. Oh yeah, Joe was my neighbor 30 years ago, out in Washington State. He said, how's he doing? Oh, it's like cold ice to your heart. I said, did you know that Joe had written your name down as being his durable power of attorney for health care? Should he not be able to speak? There was a long pause. And Frank said, he did what? He never told me. I, and he said, he needs help. I don't know what he wants medically. I haven't got a clue. Well, needless to say, that document was expertly executed in terms of the paperwork, but not in terms of the intent of the document. It had been filled out by a very pricey, high-end law firm that basically, we found out later, asked Joe who he wanted to be his durable power of attorney, and he named Fred. He never talked to him, he never asked him, he never shared his beliefs and what he wanted. He didn't, it had done none of those things. It had been done in the law office and completed and X in the block, never looked at for 30 years. Don't do that. It's not helpful to your family. It's also not helpful to you.